Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I'm getting ready to do a flip of this um, farm journal. I didn't show any of it on uh, video, but um, I figured it was a lot of the same sort of stuff <clears throat> as the first one. So anyway, I didn't uh, show it, and I will show it now. I'm calling it the Brown Earth uh, Farm Journal, and it measures five inches by seven and a half. It has a two inch fabric covered spine, three signatures. I put some trim to finish off um, the fabric on the front. I didn't on the back because, number one, I didn't want this bumpy trim on that back. And I just like the way it laid nice and neat. So anyway, I um, did a little punch here of just a, uh, some scrapbook paper and glued it on there and whoever gets this can just write whatever they want to on there so anyway it's got a farm scene on the front and I did a tie hair tie and post closure and um, of course it could be um, expanded as much as you need to I got three buttons tied onto the uh, journal strings so okay let's open it up I use the same scrapbook paper as in the um, Charlotte Webb book so you'll see uh, that paper and also um, the cardboard cutouts, I mean, um, die cuts um, are the same too because there was two, two of each one. So anyway, this is a pocket um, book page stitched around. I um, just included it in the front because it had the barn and in the Charlotte's Web book, I did kind of a pig theme throughout it and this one's kind of a barn theme. And here's a postcard. I have no idea where I got it. And uh, it's just got a picture of a farm in the barn. This is a sticker of a fence, rail fence. I have a pocket here made out of scrapbook paper with a scallop and just some collage work of um, just a picture I found that's got uh, the barn and the wavy uh, fields and just a little bitty um, quilt block cut out and, uh, just out of paper that was in a book and then a piece of lace. And this was a picture I got somewhere of a uh, barn in the silos, and I just put it on this book page journaling card. It's got blank paper on the back to write on. This is um, a children's book, and it has a lot of farm scenes in it. It is actually an alphabet book. And uh, this is a fussy, not fussy, slow stitched, um, just a patch, a bunch of different uh, patches of fabric. This is coffee dyed lined paper, like notebook paper. This is an apron I have, and I just took it to the copy machine, laid it onto the top, and just printed out a color copy of it. So it's um, the fabric, but yet it's on a <laughs> thin enough paper that it can be in here. I mean, it's not, it's on paper. It's the fabric printed on paper. There we go. Um, guitar string. Um, envelope. I liked it because it was red. I made a little flower here out of some of the scrap fabric from the spine. I have two stamps of a pig and a fence, so I just stamped them on this grid um, index card. This um, page behind it is one that was on, uh, we'll see the cover in a minute, it's like making your own feed for your um, farm animals. Like Here's like the recipes. Here's that children's book again. And um, I have another apron that's got this um, quilted applique flower on it. So I just put it on the scanner too and just printed it out. Here's a picture of a barn. It was really large, so I just made it into a flip out. Children's book page. I made this envelope out of children's book page and there's your barn. And ins I stitched it and inside of it, I've got a playing card that's got the red that reminds me of gingham. And I have blank paper on the front so you can write on it or in the back, whichever considered. And in this, I put it like a belly band, so this goes all the way through. I found this picture of this quilt in an American history book, so I just uh, cut it out and put it on this journaling card and I put a picture of a barn there in the front as well. And there's um, journaling space uh, inside the card. Okay, don't catch on the page. And the paper it's on is like a uh, sewing pattern instruction. Here is another um, paper I printed from my scanner. It, this is an old quilt. I just put it on there and hit scan and it makes great scrapbooking paper. This is a faux stamp I made out of book page and some uh, scrap papers and then another quilt. This book right here that I took this page from had 
these quilt blocks in different sizes. And some of them were small enough to be a great focal point on a faux stamp. And then some of them I just uh, made into pages for the journal. And in this case, I made it the center of the signature. So you get all those quilt blocks. Because quilts definitely remind me of farms. Or farms remind me of quilts. Oops, vice versa. Okay, we're on the back side of the signature, so the papers are the same of what we've seen. we just got different park pockets. This is the library pocket made out of a book page, and I just glued the picture of the sheep on. And um, this saying was from a different book. So, And then from some somewhere, I got a picture of a bunch of ducks. And uh, just made a journaling card out of them and stitched around. This is a scrap of fabric I had, and... It's cut kind of weird because that's just the shapes I had left and I didn't want to straighten it out because then I'd lose part of the barn. So I just uh, glued on what I had and made a little fabric fit out of it. And it's got some rickrack at the top. And another book page made out of a children's, no, another envelope made out of a children's book page. And this one had a weather vane with chicken on it. And this is a picture of an old timey tractor and he's, um, cutting this hay. Cutting it and oof, that has definitely some old equipment. I'm not sure what all that's doing. Looks like he's doing two things at once. I just put a fabric cluster here and since this paper was fairly fragile I just glued it straight down. I didn't have a pocket behind it. This is just an uh, old um, newspaper ad. I have a digital kit of a bunch of those and I just did a hand stitch ruffle of some scrap of fabric and glued it on there. And here is a picture of a little boy feeding his chickens. Here is a page from that cattle feed book. On this side of it, I just did a collage of a messy journaling spot with stitching around it. I stamped this wheelbarrow and I stamped this uh, quote. Over here I have a circle punch and another picture from a magazine of a ram that I just cut out with another circle punch and just made like a, a top tuck out of it. And this is um, from my um, newspaper ads and it's about the fire, uh, housewife's food conservation pledge. I think it was kind of from like World War I or World War II where they were really trying to conserve food. So that was what she would sign a pledge, I guess. Okay, on this, I was digging through and I found um, this fabric flip that, I'm uh, digging through my stash, and I found this fabric flip that Robin had made me out of selvages of fabric, so that's pretty neat. And the colors I thought went with, well with this, so I just made it another fabric flip, put some lace on the top. And this is another apron I just took to my uh, copier and just printed it out. And then I added this little lace tab. I think I had another lace tab I didn't show you earlier, but. I just, it's just some old eyelet and I just glued it on as a tab. Another sticker of the fence and this is one of my woven pockets. It's made out of uh, old book page and this is ribbon that's wove, woven through it. And um, behind it I just have a journaling card. I had this picture of these barns and I'm not sure where it came from, magazine of some sort. So I just made a journaling card out of it. Here's the cover for that homemade feeds. I think it was just um, stuck in a, you know, you buy a book or magazine and things are stuck in it. I think that's where I got this. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't think I bought it. So anyway, um, you see a lot of the same papers, you know, from the book page and from the uh, scanning I did. Here is a sack that um, I just cut the top off because it's way too tall and just did some little collage things on it. And this is a vintage label. And then put this journaling card in there, it's some cowls. And then I made a little topper out of some of that lace. And it's just layers of book page and it's lined paper on the back. Children's book page. Here's another one of those um, newspaper ads. I just add a little collage of just different scraps of fabric and cheesecloth and lace. And the journaling card is a picture of a barn cut from a magazine and it's just backed onto actually most of the backing paper um, you'll see on the backs of these journaling cards came from this actual book because it had a lot of end pages I could use. It's a sewing pattern page. Another children's book page book that's glued um, down so it's only got a pocket here. 
and I have another barn picture with some harvest stuff here and it's been stitched onto several layers of book page and some blank paper. So, and this, like I said, is glued down so you can't put anything behind it. Another barn picture and another page from that recipe. This is a library pocket I made out of book page and I found this ad in probably a, a travel brochure of some sort. Had the barn on it, the windmill. And I put a playing card in there that's got the face part of it covered with some paper you can write on. And then I have a stamp of a mason jar. So I just stamped it and then fussy cut it out. Let's see. Some parts of this quilt book, you can see it's on graph paper and it blank, so that was perfect for writing on. And this is this envelope is one of is made from a um, it's not an envelope it's a pocket this pocket is made from an envelope you can see the flap there so the flap gives you a place to put uh, little items and I have a die cut for this little mason jar and then I just made this journaling card out of scraps and this was a um, sampler a crochet uh, embroidered sampler from a, a picture of it from a, a, a book so anyway I glue the the pocket, no, let me get it right, the envelope on, so it, it's folded in half and it goes over the page so it's glued down so you have this pocket and this pocket on both sides. So on this side I put one of those quilt blocks I come from, cut from that book and um, this is another one of the um, old newspaper ads about baking powder. Let's see, and then from behind here I have a large tag I made out of book pages picture of the chickens. It was actually a painting from an art book. Some rickrack there and then lined paper on the back. Here's another tab. This book page is made out of <laughs> this pocket. I cannot say the word pocket. This pocket is made out of book page and an image from a book and you flap it up and you see the farmer using one of those old-fashioned push plows and the picture didn't have his head and stuff so don't it doesn't look don't think I cut his body off it was already like that so anyway I'm not sure what I put in here let's see there's something oh it's a picture of a farmer on a tractor and he doesn't look too happy I thought he was kind of fun to go in here with the guy with no head and the tag in here is just scraps of fab, um, scrapbook paper I folded and made into a tag and then we have another um, slow stitched patch here with a little flower on it See, that's on the sewing pattern and I have a pocket here just made out of collage papers and I put a picture of a cotton gin on it and I guess I didn't know what a cotton gin was until I saw this because it talks about Eli, Eli Whitney and we all know he made the cotton gin it looks like a hand crank and I'm thinking of this big thing so I guess this was the first cotton gin a small version of it I don't know I have to look at it some more because I know my grandfather managed a bunch of cotton gins in the town where he lived and I never thought they were that small so I think they evolved into bigger machines just a little cluster here here's that feed book again here's the actual spine of the book as earth turns and I just stitched it on some layers of book page and Tried to cut it with my scissors. There, yeah, that's better. So it's included. And here is a stamp I made out of the uh, same way as the other one. Book page. This has got like uh, a map and some other scrapbook paper collaged behind it. Then I put the um, quilt I cut out and then do the stamping and inking around it. This is a tag pocket. It's shaped like a tag and it's got the pocket there with the pig in it. And I just had a big one of those quilts cut from that book. So I put it in there as the journaling card. And a, another pocket. Nope, nope. Another envelope <laughs> made out of a book page. Uh, this one I did, I go in ahead. It was a little bit sturdier. So I went ahead and made it into a little pocket back here. And it's got a little journaling card with two stickers on it of a tractor, a slow moving tractor sign. This is a Willadex card. And inside here I just had a bridge score pad, so I just found it in my um, ephemera box. So I thought, okay, I'll just put that in there. I think it will fit. Okay, that's the end of the signature. So the third signature, 
of that scrapbook paper. And here is the book jacket that was on this book. So this book actually, I wish I had the date of the book. <laughs> I might find it somewhere, but I had the book jacket. And um, it was kind of rough around the edges, so I put it on here. I mod podged it so it wouldn't crumble anymore. And just made a flip out of it, so you can write here and you can write here. Another tab. Got a tuck here with the circle punches and a turkey and a another in, uh, index card. It's got a pig and a fence stamped on it. Got the quilt page with the sticker fence. I mean, a fence sticker here. And um, this pocket's made out of scraps of the scrapbook paper. And I have two things in it. One is a painting of a barn. It was in an art magazine. Just made a journaling card out of that and a um, flash card. I just put a little bit of fabric at the top. Okay. This is another apron I just put on the scanner and printed it out. Library pockets that I just um, put a picture of chickens on it. And I had a, I don't know, these are some um, cards I got at Hobby Lobby. Journaling cards. They call them pocket crafting. Uh, cards. So um, anyway, um, it had the library pocket, uh, yeah, library card on there. So I just thought it fit perfect in that library pocket. There we go. I get all that out. Sewing pattern page, the book page. This is some coffee dyed paper. No, it isn't. <laughs> this is a scrap left over from last year when I did a, a challenge where you can only use stuff you buy at Dollar Tree for a journal and I needed pages so they had these big um, fold outs of like it was the Bill of Rights I believe so you can see where it says amendment number eight there so this is the back side of that so I coffee dyed that so it was just a scrap I had left over this is another envelope made out of children's book page and I put another one of those um, journaling cards, craft cards from um, Hobby Lobby there. It's the quilts and the center of the signature. This is just a fold out. It keeps folding out where you can journal on it and it opens up and I put it in here as a pocket. <clears throat> I made some of these for the um, Charlotte's Web book because Wilbur, you know, goes to the fair and I thought that looked like bunting from the fair. So I went ahead and included one in here too because, you know, it's a, it was a big thing for... Um, the farmers to go to the fair and uh, compete with their crops and animals. All right, I did a collage here down on the farm. These are stickers that and the barn, and then this is just a what I call a messy journaling spot with the stitching around it. This is a woven pocket, and I have a video showing how I did that. And this one's done with scrapbook paper and book page. And my journaling card is. Uh, <laughs> Just scraps of scrapbook paper. I have one of these corrugated um, pieces of the cow, and he's got cheesecloth behind him, or she's got cheesecloth behind her, and uh, it's just a journaling card she can open up and um, write in. This is a paper clip I made out of a, a image from a bag of flour. So, um, and this was one of the um, ads from the old magazine, old newspaper ads ads for my digital kit. I had a bunch of that printed when I was trying to work up the kits. Okay, another scrap of fabric. I wanted the whole cow and I didn't want to straighten it up or I'd have lost a lot of him. So it's got a little scallop out of it, but that just adds to it. And then I've got the rig rack at the top. So we got another fabric flip. Here's a pocket made out of book page. Yeah, I got it right that time. So no, I didn't because it's an envelope. <laughs> but then it's a pocket behind. Okay, so it's a, I don't even know what it is. It's an envelope made out of book page, and I did a little um, slow stitching scene here on the front. A little card inside. It's a baby chicken. And there's the price, $2 that I paid for this book at the um, used books, uh, I don't even know what they called it, festival or whatever it was in Oklahoma City. One of the, I have a cutout of this barn, and I just included the whole thing. I think you can punch the windows out and all that, but I tried to keep it as intact as possible. Even the doors open. It can be a journaling, uh, different journaling card. Okay. Oh, I'm still in frame. I keep sliding. Uh, we're almost there. Okay, I have a tractor of the cardboard, and I made him into a little sack, book page sack. And inside it is a journaling, a 
no, nope, it's a tag, that I decorated the front with one of my woven pockets. I just glued it down to the front of the tag. And the papers are all the apron papers, the scraps from it. Okay, we're at the end of the um, journal and I have this corrugated pocket, corrugated? Accordion. Yeah, accordion pocket made out of envelopes. And right now it's empty, but I'm gonna put some different things in there and they can be used in the journal. And I had this another barn postcard that's behind it. So anyway, that is the journal and it's gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. There'll be a link below. So if you're interested, uh, go check it out. And I thank you guys for watching. So I'll see you later, bye.